system approaching perfection. We'll walk deeper into the belly of the beast if it means a man. All right, guys, this is Danny from The Crypto Show, and I'm here at the Payments 2018 conference. It's uh, NACHA, which is a national association of uh, clearing house. I don't even know what the other one stands for. Who cares? But anyway, this uh, appears to be kind of a banker's conference. Everybody's here is in uh, the uh, payments industry, basically from bank to bank and things like that. So also we have Ripple. Ripple's here as well. But, you know, I, I went around all day today and I tried to talk to everybody about remittance and all types of things. And, and nobody has permission to talk about anything. Uh, especially when it relates to blockchain. If I say the word crypto or blockchain, they're like, oh no, you know, they're, they just kind of don't even want to talk to me anymore. So it's been pretty interesting. The only person that has actually agreed to talk to us uh, is the whole reason why I'm even interested in cryptocurrency, and that's the Federal Reserve. So we got some guys behind us here. We're, we're waiting right now to find out if they're actually going to talk to us, but hopefully we're going to get the breakdown from somebody at the Federal Reserve uh, about what their whole role is in the monetary system and why they're here at a conference to promote their services. Uh, why does a quasi-government agency, which is really not a government agency, even have an interest in selling their wares. Uh, what? What? Are, I mean, I thought they were a monopoly. I don't think. I don't see why they would uh, need to advertise anything. But we'll see how that works out. Um, all in all, it's been an interesting experience. Even though no one is talking to me. Uh, it's different than going to a Bitcoin conference. It seems like, you know, the Bitcoin conferences, they're, they're great to go to, you, but you see kind of the same people and it's an echo chamber. So I came here to try to get a different perspective from the banking industry about what they think about cryptocurrencies and, and how they may, may find their way into legacy banking. Okay, so it looks like we weren't actually able to talk to the Federal Reserve, but interestingly enough, the Federal Reserve was really one of the only ones that wanted to talk to us. Um, yeah, they were very resistant to uh, Bitcoin, blockchain here. Every time that the, the word blockchain or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is even mentioned, uh, we were pretty much shut down and they didn't want to hear anything we had to say. So. Uh, yeah, this, this is definitely not a friendly environment, but I, but I think what they're going to find out is cryptocurrency is going to pass them by and they're going to be left in the dust. You know, uh, Andreas Antonopoulos likes to point out that Bitcoin is for the other 6 billion people. So if there's 7 billion people on, on the planet and 6 billion don't have banking system, these people are idiots for not you know, reaching out to a larger customer base. I don't, I don't know what the hell their, their problem is. You know, I had hopes of coming here and, and kind of hearing the other side of the coin. I go to Bitcoin conferences all the time and, and it's, a, it's an echo chamber, you know, you see the same people. And so I came here expecting to, to hear the other side of the coin, if you will, from the banking industry. And they just don't even want to talk to you, man. They're the ones that will talk they're afraid to talk to you. And like I said, Ripple was here and they won't talk to you. And, and that's not a first either because I've tried to talk to Ripple at multiple events and they will never speak with you. So that's what we're looking at, folks. I think, I think they're scared. We got them on the ropes. Now let's get them on the run. <laughs>